Welcome to Newswatch. I'm Meg Casper. Since this is National Health Week, we'll be going live to a health fair where folks are learning about the best ways to stay healthy and live healthy lives. We have several cameras on location and we'll join Margaret Lawhon in just a moment while things are gearing up out there with music, food, face painting, and great. What's going on, Margaret? Do you see that? Margaret, turn around. People are shooting. We are here at Tina Holland Community Center's Healthy Eating, Move and Get Fit Fair, where gunshots have just erupted. We don't know what's going on. This was supposed to be a happy community event. There are at least two shooters, maybe more. People are running, screaming, um, this, trying to take cover. We can't tell yet what's going on, really, except that we know that gunfire has erupted. Uh, multiple gunshots have been fired into the crowd. People are lying down on the concrete. Uh. That truck right there, that truck, that black truck is the truck that the, the shooters were in. The police are here on the scene already. We can hear people screaming, lying on the ground. This is just incredible. Oh my God, now there's sirens. Uh, ambulances are starting to arrive. People are volunteering to help the wounded. We don't know how many people are wounded. People are crying. We can see people bloodied. We can see victims all over the place, standing in the grass, lying in the grass, lying on the concrete. It's yes, okay. I'm right here with you. Don't cry. It's okay, Sydney. You're going to be okay. We need help. We need help. Someone call 911. We need help. All right, listen up. Everybody listen up. Settle down. If we got a critical patient, I need them right here in this corner. All critical patients over here. EMS is here. Ambulances are here. And people are getting some attention to their wounds. This is simply a chaotic scene, like nothing we've ever seen before. People are panicking. People are crying. I would dare to say a lot of these people are in shock. Can you hold on to me? Yeah. Up. Red patients here, yellow in the middle. <laughs> it's just difficult to watch. This is the young woman who is, is pregnant. Oh my God, this is very hard to watch, Meg. A gentleman in a pickup truck is actually helping to transport some people to a local hospital to get them there more quickly. This is where emergency crews are bringing those wounded in this morning's shooting. Someone was just unloaded from an ambulance a minute ago. We are outside the ambulance bay at the Simulated Environment Teaching Hospital, also known as SEF. Now, outside the emergency department doors, family members and survivors of this morning's shooting are waiting to find out any information they can get on their loved ones who are victims of this tragedy. Margaret, you, Mark, Andre, and Dirk have done some great reporting under very dangerous circumstances. We are glad you are okay. We understand that we have some interviews that you shot a short time ago. Let's take a look. We were just right over there just having a good time, and all of a sudden I saw people running up with guns, and they just started shooting, and we just started scattering and going behind uh, buildings and air conditioning units and everything, and people just started falling and crying, and it was just horrible. I never thought I would see something like this. How did you manage to stay safe and escape the violence? We just kind of ducked down behind the behind the table we were at and hoped for the best. Did you see people get shot? Were people near you shot? Yes, there was one right directly across from me that was shot really bad. It was scary, you know. I and, and I, don't, I don't really fear anything, you know. But it's just like, whoa, this is this is real life, you know. So it's just I was just scared. I was just scared. If you're just joining us, we are now inside the Seth building where victims from this morning's shooting are being treated. We don't know how I'm many sorry. people are wounded. I'm going to have to have you leave right now. All right. All right. We're being asked to leave, Meg, so we'll have to throw it back to you for now. We'll get back to you later, Margaret, but we have acquired some footage from Seth that they're allowing us to use. I'm going to go ahead and warn our viewers. This is not for children, and it could be disturbing to watch. Yes. 
So we're just gonna push down. Okay, so wearing gloves. Okay. So can you feel me touching down here? Okay, you can feel me touching down here? No? Okay. Alright, so we have possible spinal cord injury. She's gonna need to go to the right. We check good. for injuries. Looks good. Do we see any injuries? I don't see I don't any other injuries. No injuries on the back legs. Blood's going. Okay. Good. Do we know how big those IVs are? Size wise? I feel sick. Let's get Lewis hanging. What do you need? Uh, Lewis, uh, labs, uh, chemistry panel. Uh, can you do a VBG with lights? Can I get one more hand here? We've got three beds open. Mallory. Mallory. Trauma bays are full. Does, does she need to go to the trauma bay? She is a, she's a spinal cord injury, open wound bleeding. So we're back in studio while Margaret relocates and continues to gather information on this developing tragedy. We've watched some extraordinary work under great duress. Let's go back to Seth as they continue to save lives. Excuse us, excuse us. Trauma four. All right, ready? One, two, three. Okay, do you have any medical issues? No. All right, any complications during pregnancy? No, it was a normal, healthy pregnancy. No preeclampsia, no hypertension? No. Any change in vision? It's been a little blurry today. Okay. So I'm afraid you're going to need to have an emergency session, but I need to do a quick sterile exam um, to see how far along you are right now, okay? This is Lindy Brown. She's 10 years old. Her vital signs originally were 116 over 78, heart rate 120, respiratory rate 30. All right, transfer complete. Okay, another thing. What do y'all Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, let's transfer to Neuro ICU. Excuse me. Okay. We're gonna get you taken care of, though. I guess he didn't realize who he was. All right, just hold real still for me. Charge up, and we'll get ready. And everyone's ready for a charge. Charge. Okay. Oxygen off. Oxygen off. And, okay, back on compressions. Should be 50 to uh, 100,000 units per kilogram per day. Meg, here's what we can tell our viewers at this point. 40 people were shot at the Tina Holland Community Center's Healthy Eating Move and Get Fit Fair this morning by two gunmen. Sadly, three people have died, including a police officer. One of the shooters has also died. A third terrorist is still at large. Police have secured the area. All of the wounded were brought here to Seth, the simulated environment teaching hospital. As you know, Seth is equipped with the most advanced technology available. Obviously, this crisis is still evolving. There is a need for blood donations. So if you are able, please donate blood. Reporting live, I'm Margaret Lawhon. Well, it's been quite a day, a day we hope never to see again. This is Meg Casper, and that's the news.